Hello, my friends. It is me, Karen Valentine. Welcome back uh, to my channel if you are uh, if you've been here before, and um, welcome, welcome if you um, are new to my channel. Um, we are. I think this is um, video four um, of doing this um, this cat um, that I got the reference photo from Pixabay for. And if you um, have not um, seen the previous videos and you would like to color along, you can find them um, in uh, here on my channel um, under some playlists. I've got one for um, drafting film and one for animal art. And so those videos are there. Um, you can also go to my Ko-fi account, which will have the link in the description box down below, and you can get the um, the line art um, sketch that I that I um, drew out, and um, you can print that out um, and put that behind your drafting film, and you can color along if you would like to um, to do this page as well. So, um, yes, I am using my polychromos. I have my pencils here. And, um, yes, it takes me just kind of a minute to kind of get my, my uh, bearings straight and figure out what colors I used before and all that good stuff. So, um, as soon as I kind of get there, we will, we will get to going. So, somewhere, oh, there it is. Okay, so I got my slice tool, which I think is going to be a pretty important part of doing the rest of this page. And, um, yeah, so I'm just going to go. <laughs> um, I think I want to work over here a little bit. So... It's kind of a brown. I think I might use some brown and some warm gray mixed together, maybe. Um, okay, so let me zoom in for you a little bit. And we could probably do that. And I just want to kind of see first if this is going to be the right color. Maybe okay. This might not be necessary. Probably not gray. Let's see. So this is burnt umber. Um, I think that's all right so this is burnt umber and I'm going very lightly again because I want this to be very soft and I don't want um, I don't want any harsh lines here but it's not going to be dark enough so Gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna do that. And it's, oh, I don't know, I'm not sure. So we'll just have to play a little bit. This is warm gray six. Because I really didn't want black. Probably just going to switch back and forth between this burnt umber and the warm gray six for a little while, at least. So 
So this comes down to about in here. This is going to be lighter and this is all going to be darker. this going here. Now, <clears throat> this is um, this is the first time, if you notice, the um, the hair on the outer edges starts to get really, really um, blurry and out of focus. I'm not sure if I'll be able to achieve that or not. Um, I might be able to in using my um, uh, kneaded eraser, we might be able to get a little bit more blurry edges if we come in and use that, so we'll see. Like this still needs to be so much darker to um, match the reference photo. So I'm just gonna maybe try keep layering and see because I really don't wanna press hard to get the dark. I think just layering multiple layers is gonna be the answer. slice tool up here to marry these two kind of get some <clears throat> random little hairs going across so that it <clears throat> it looks like one is overlapping the other we don't want it to look like they're butted up against each other Okay, now it kind of looks like there's a, like a soft, and I don't know, this might not even help. This might not do anything because, yeah, it doesn't, but that's okay. All right, never mind for that. Okay, um... trying to figure out um, if I should do the dark first and then the light I don't know if it really makes much I don't know if it makes much difference okay let's keep going I want to do this hair before I do this because we're going to be coming in and slicing out over the top of this kind of like I want to do up here. So, just a little bit more of the warm gray six. And then it almost looks like I might need a little bit more color on the face itself. Um, this is cold gray three. Just a little bit. And then if we take the slice tool.
That's good. It might be more than I really, probably more than I should have done, but maybe we can come in and that's fine. That works for me. All right, so now I want to figure out what colors I'm going to use for under here. Um, this is going to be too, definitely too orange. I'm thinking if I can mix mix several colors, I might be in business. So this might go on top. And then we've got ivory, which is going to be too light. So let's... Here's where I almost wish I had a scrap piece of drafting film to play. So if I lay down a little bit of ivory, and then burnt ochre, and then burnt sienna. Sienna might be too red. I'm wondering if I should use just curious what Beaster does. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so I think cream, burnt ochre, and beaster. We'll start with those. And let's see, this is the short blonde hair, and then this is the longer blonde hair. Long hair. <laughs> This could be an interesting challenge. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go and we're going to just see what happens. Okay. Because I think I can push the color up into the hair as well. And we're not going to worry about copying it exactly because that would just um, make me nuts, and I don't think it's necessary. I do want to try and keep going in the direction of the fur, though. That's still important. And maybe we just do it in little sections. So maybe I'll stop there and keep going. All right, so burnt... Hmm. Wonder if I should do Beaster first. of the face that right there is this right here so this hair is still just coming this way
Easter. I might wind up putting a little bit of that um, burnt sienna in here after I get these down, I think. Now, I'm looking at these colors and I'm wondering about adding a something a little bit pink, like the cinnamon or the beige red. what this is going to do, but yeah, um, I like this beige red. out where my where my stuff is here so this little line right here is probably this So now I'm confusing myself because, okay, so this is all brown. Yeah, I am. I'm confusing myself. So again, what is going on here? We've got... Let's bring this down because, is that why? I'm actually not coloring the whole. <laughs> I'm so confused. What did I do? All right. Yeah, I'm not sure why I did that. It's like I. Um... Oh, I know why, because I'm actually going to cut off some of that, I think. Sorry, I'm talking to myself, you guys. <laughs> you have to understand, this is how my brain works while I'm working. Um, okay, so this is going to be brown. Here's the thing, is that really, in actuality, that picture got cut off. That's why I'm getting confused. Um, so I added on to it. And why I drew it this way, I have no idea. Straight like that, that's kind of weird. Okay. All right, so that's the problem. So let me get, <laughs> let me get a pencil out here. So this is this, so this is going to be brown, and this, geez Louise, why is my brain not working? This is the short hair, and <laughs> what is the matter with 
me. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm just going to let the camera run and you can like listen to me just be like an, an idiot. Okay, so this is... Get out your divider. Let's make this... Sometimes it's just, I just get confused. What is that? Okay, so the edge here, here we go. From the edge, do I, do I need to zoom out a little bit while I do this? Okay, the edge of the, right there, right there. So that's, this point that comes up into, okay, so then this is going to be the edge of this second row of fluff, and then all of this out here is going to be brown. Okay, <laughs> that was just, that was, that seems like that was way harder than it should have been. Okay. So. This is back to the burnt umber. And it kind of looks to me like all the colors kind of blend a little bit in here. So I think we'll probably use the slice tool to kind of differentiate the two layers. Or maybe I'll use a, um, my mono eraser. Mono eraser might be better. Might be better. This was the really dark area. So let's just um, throw a little bit of black just to remind myself that this is the really dark area. Kind of I think I need to be careful about um, getting um, like double double layers of color. You know when you um, blend one you, you use the pencil. And you do it, and then you add to it, and where they overlap, you get um, a darker color. I don't, I don't want that to happen, so I want to be careful about that. Um. Okay, now. This is the next layer of the lighter um, orangey blondy colors. So I'm just going to use my <coughs> burnt umber just to kind of mark where the brown is. And I'm <clears throat> going to try and use long strokes because this is all really long hair. And we'll come back to it. So I'm kind of just blocking color out right now. I'm blocking in where I want stuff to be. So I'm pretty sure and I probably definitely need to add some um, some 
grays. But we'll worry about that in subsequent layers. Right now, I'm just blocking in. Trying to soften this. I'm learning as I go here, guys. So, um, <laughs> this is not uh, me as a total and complete expert. <laughs> this is me um, learning as I go. Okay, now, I'm also seeing that starting about right here is another layer that's even like lighter and grayer, so I don't want to forget to do that. What was I doing? I was adding this um, beige red in here, which I think I liked because I'm kind of seeing some kind of pinky tones in here. And then let's go ahead and add the ivory. And I want to go this way with these and I think this is the end there okay just for my own because um, it's bugging me I'm going to take out these lines since I've got it marked on here already I want to add some gray, um, and I think I should stick with warm grays. This is warm gray three. if I should do some cool gray in there. Okay, this all is going to start This is um, beige red. I'm just kind of figuring out this all oh, this transition in here. Um, and here.
This is cinnamon. to try and get the second layer of fur um, figured out here. So this is not easy. <laughs> this okay, so keep lifting this up because when I lift it up I can see kind of where I placed the um, that cream <clears throat> I think we're kind of at the edge of where the orange goes in here, so we're going to stop there. All right, let's start bringing some of this. And actually, do I want to darken this just a little bit more? Because this is the under, yeah, this is where the, <coughs> the two layers of fluff meet. So I think I will just put a little bit of darker color so that I don't get confused when I start adding the burnt ochre back. to burnt ochre. And this is actually supposed to go more like this. How did I Goodness, okay.
getting myself so confused. Okay, this is still all... orange fluff. This is a big bit of the of the yellow, not yellow, um, cream. Ivory. <laughs> get it right, get it right, get it right. This time I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave those lines in for a while because they're helping me to kind of visualize what's what here. This, and then the rest of it is going to start going into the grays. So, so I think what I'll do, even though I want to pull out that slice tool so badly, because <laughs> it's fun, um, is really I need to get this color kind of blocked in here. So we're going to add color and then we might take it away also with the um, mono eraser. So one of the things that's kind of cool about the um, drafting film is that depending on what you put underneath your paper, um, it's going to pick up a little bit of the texture that the paper is. So even though this is a pretty smooth um, paper that I have underneath the drafting film, it's still, as I run my pencil over the top of it very lightly and smoothly, I can still see a little bit of texture that is happening because of what um, the paper is that I have underneath. And um, that can come in really handy for doing fur and things because it kind of it kind of just um, helps you to um, to get some some interesting textures down there without having to work too hard to get them. Okay. Um, this right here is this right here. So we've got a lot of work to do down there to get before that even comes close to looking right. But I think I'm going to just kind of blend everything a little bit. You go through some ugly stages and it's hard <laughs> to let them be ugly. At least it is for me. It's hard to let them be ugly because I want to just like fix them right now. And um, I don't think that that's the thing to do. I think the thing to do is to just keep going <clears throat> with the ugly for a little while. So 
like kind of in here is where it starts to bring in some grays. So this is warm gray two. So I might have to go darker than that. I might even do some cold, actually. Wow, that's really sharp. Cold gray. All right, this is cold gray too. Let's see what that does. Still even darker, I think. Yep. Okay, this is cold gray four. We're probably closer. Okay, so. <laughs> this is this. So this is this. So I'm in the right spot. So I think I'm going to just kind of smoosh all of these colors together, kind of blend up things as best I can. Um, sorry, I want to get some dark. This is warm gray five when I get some of that in here. And again, if it's not perfect, it doesn't it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, but we want it to be close. Like there should have been some more grays in here. Um, so we're gonna fix that by taking out some of this orange. a little bit more gray in here too. I don't know, I'm starting to confuse myself again as to where I'm at because it's not exact and it's <laughs> Then some um, burnt sienna, maybe just a little bit. Yeah, I'm just completely like feeling out of my element a little bit here. I feel like I'm, I feel like every time I lay color down and then look at it, I, I think to myself, oops, that's not right. on camera is a little bit stressful. <laughs> All right. I think we're doing okay though. Um, I'm gonna put some, because now I'm, I'm kind of starting to see it a little bit here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this beige red in here. Because basically, we've got to get enough color down or else the um, slice tool will not work and the um, mono eraser will not work because really, if there's nothing down for it to lift, 
there's it's not going to help and I think I am ready to erase those lines over there And of course, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot to erase my lines on the top of my paper before I added color down. So I've got a little bit of line there. Okay. That's not, that, that, no, not too much damage there. So, let that be a lesson. <laughs> Don't draw on the top of your paper and forget to erase before you add color on top or else it will show through. Okay, so this is all feeling a little bit too, um, not like not, it's not gray enough. I don't know if adding gray on top or on bottom is gonna be best. So I'm going to add it on top, I think. And this is um, cold gray three. And it's actually going to start, we're going to start bringing that in up here too. But like we need a little bit more pink, um, or purpley tones, I don't know. Not sure what yet. Beige red. It actually kind of feels like it needs to be a little purpley. Um, this is cinnamon. You know what? I'm going to take out the. Um, more so. Which could be could be right and could be wrong. <laughs> but we won't know until we try. Um all right, this is the Caput Mortem Violet. And I'm going super duper light. And doing it on the side is helping to keep that really, really soft. And I actually like that. In fact, I might even bring it all the way. This is one of my favorite colors. In fact, I think this color is what made me purchase my first set of polychromos. <laughs> I saw somebody using this color. Okay, I kind of like that. That's, um, that's getting us closer. Actually, we might just throw a little bit of it down here. Um, okay, gonna need some more color in here. So let's, there's still a long ways to go. Um, but I wanna put the gray, I wanna get the grays going in here, so. This is cold gray three. So, <clears throat> this, go 
goes right in here. That's the spot right here. This is going to be that dark, that dark brown bit, but I'm not going to work on that yet. We're going to concentrate on this for now. got this is the bottom of the jaw and we're definitely gonna have to start adding some maybe some warm gray one To this warm gray one. Oh, geez, did I do it again? Yes, I did. <laughs> All right, so I'm not drawing on the front side of my paper anymore because I got so used to doing it on the back side that I forgot. Um, not a big deal, thankfully. Um, we're going to use that mono eraser a lot more. I um, forget sometimes how nice it is for fur instead of using the slice. You don't always want the slice. The slice gives you really um, sharp, harsh lines, but that mono eraser can give you really nice, soft, fluffy, fluffy softness, which is quite often what you actually would want. So, Okay, now we've got some shadow that we need to get in here. So this is warm gray five. And I'm going to use a very light touch here because I don't want any harsh lines. I want this to all be soft and smooth. And actually, I need to get some a lot more depth in here as well because that's in shadow and we're going to slice that out too. Okay, the rest of that looks pretty cool. Um... So I'm debating on this under here. I think that works. So this is still the warm gray five. This line here is too um, harsh, I think. So 
So I'm gonna bring some burnt umber. I think there's still, I think we've still got some layers. Maybe not, maybe we might be running out of layers here. That softened it up better though. I'm gonna bring it in a little bit further. This is burnt umber. I might need like a raw umber. I don't taste or no. The raw umber doesn't look dark enough though. But no, see that's not. I need something grayer. So maybe that's what I do. Gray. Warm gray five. Warm gray six. Yep, that's what we needed. Okay, so warm gray six. And then we'll probably use the um, putty eraser to soften this edge. I know it feels like I'm bouncing around a little bit here, um, but it's what what it's doing is it's kind of helping me um, piece together and and s visualize as I go what needs to be done because with each layer that I add, I get closer to the outcome that I want. But sometimes I have to kind of go off in another place to make sure that I'm on the right track, if that makes any sense at all. Otherwise, I'm just babbling. Okay. So we're getting there, I'm starting to I'm starting to see it, <laughs> at least. Um, fortunately, I think we may, we may, uh, not get to this, to this part yet in this video. was I doing? Warm gray. I still think warm gray here is good. So this is where I'm getting myself confused because I kind of think that I put this bit in not quite the wrong place. So I keep getting um, lost as far as like where I'm supposed to be, <laughs> but again, I think it's okay. Maybe it's just too, I think I was supposed to, I am. This is supposed to be lighter. Maybe that's why. <laughs> All right, so in fact, this is a good spot to use this. So really, when I look at it now, that is in the right spot. This isn't. This is supposed to be quite a bit wider. 
right, so all of this needs to come out. And so that then makes a better, looks more like what it's supposed to look like. Okay, I feel a little bit better. Now this is where those, those grays are supposed to start coming up in here. Again, I'm getting myself confused. And again, it's because in actuality, the cat ends and I've drawn it, I've drawn it out. Um, why I did this way, it, why I did it this way, I don't know. I could have put it on this side of the page and not have this problem. <laughs> Too late. You did it already. So, maybe what I need to do to start with. Well, let's just, you know, you guys are probably thinking I'm, okay, so the end of the paper to the end of the nose. This is dumb. I don't know why I'm doing this. If I wasn't on camera, I would be doing it. So just bear with me. Okay, so that's actually closer to what the, uh, what the, um, So I've made all of this a little bit too far. It needs to come in, but we can fix that. <laughs> we can fix that later. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So a little bit more grays in here. And it actually kind of looks purpley. That was cold gray, but warm gray in the polys kind of is brown. Okay. I don't think I want Caput Martin Violet in there. That's not the right kind of purple. Okay, this probably is not even necessary, but I want to try it. So, this is violet. And maybe what I should do is put this on the um, underside, but no. See, now that color to me looks closer to the reference photo now. And then there would be a little bit of this Caput Mortem. These would get bigger. not too shabby. This should be a little bit longer. Okay. Sorry. Gonna finish up here pretty soon. Uh, 
nope, you picked up the wrong pencil. Okay, you want more cold gray there. I feel like I want to at least do something fun in this video. None of this has been fun. This is, we're all in the ugly stage on this one. And I still <clears throat> even feel like it needs more color. And there's a spot that I missed pencil. start getting some of this color in here or you could just turn the camera off check and see what your time looks like and um, maybe think about doing that little area Although something tells me that's not going to be a quick. Uh, we just might. <laughs> just, I don't think I'm ready to do that yet. I really want to keep working on this. So. Um, we just might title this. Um video working through the ugly stages. <laughs> okay, but I feel like I can see that I'm in the right, um, kind of in the right direction in the right place. So this and then this was here. This was what I was trying to do. So why did I come up high here? That I don't know. Maybe I should. So straight down from the straight down from the corner of the nose Straight down from the nostril is where the peak of that spot should be. So I'm not, I'm not far off. That is what that is, although I didn't get the angle quite right. Um, so that is that. So I'm not sure what I did over here. It's probably not, it's, it's not right. But the beauty of the drafting film <laughs> is that you can use your mono eraser to fix stuff, which is a beautiful thing. 
Okay, I don't know why this, I think because, you know, these dark lines here are things that um, keep me on track as far as knowing what I'm supposed to, where things are supposed to go. And when they're not there, I get confused. So that's a little bit better. It's not exact, it's not perfect, but. This here, this is going to all have to get sliced out or something because it's so. <laughs> I'm going to add some more gray, and maybe that's just what I do right now with the slice tool to help me visualize what I want to have happen here. Okay. So part of this should be the mono eraser to kind of get some fuller, nice light highlights. And then some of this is going to be the, and I'm about to find out if I have enough um, pigment down. not feeling like I do. So this, you can see it there. But all of this should be light and it's not because I don't have enough dark underneath here. This should also be, God, am I in the wrong place again? You guys, you have to forgive me. I don't know what is my problem. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. I feel like every time I keep putting myself and seeing the wrong stuff. And I don't, I don't know why that is. This is where, okay, let's just Get your stuff together, Karen. Okay. Um, normally, I would be turning the camera off and trying to get my stuff together. Um, but I'm just going to let it, I'm just going to let it run. So you can see <laughs> the just that it's not always perfect and easy and I, we don't always know what we're doing, do we? We kind of struggle through and try and figure things out. Don't give up. Keep working it until you until you're happy, until you feel like you got it. So this was that lavender, not lavender, violet, sorry. Um, violet. And I'm actually going to use that right in here and then slice it out. And hope. Don't go past there. Although I... And now the... Per 
purple feels too purple. Violet, whatever color that is, it feels too, that's too much. Um, but it's not terrible. This is the burnt sienna. I mean, actually, I kind of, I, I'm actually kind of liking it, even though it's not um, exactly right to the to the um, reference photo. I kind of like the addition of that of that uh, purpley color, and it's it's not like it's not there. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm starting to kind of dig it now. Um, confused again here because I changed because of that line right there <laughs> which is not supposed to be there I think maybe let's take this out is not right. This is the burnt sienna. What is what, what is that? That's what I just put down and said it wasn't right. Oh my god, you guys, uh, if you guys are following along with me, I'm really sorry. Um, yeah, this is all got to get, that's all got to get fixed. That's not right. So I'm just going to concentrate right here. Um, it's not, it's not bad. It's okay. It's going to be okay. Like for example, all in here this is all going this should all be going kind of this way Still, I'm confusing myself, and I think it's because I don't have the right colors <coughs> down, down in here, and so it's just throwing me off. This, this. That's better. That's better, that's better. there.
these. Here's an example <clears throat> of how I messed up and I didn't get the direction of my hair right. And that's another reason that I'm getting all confused because the hair um, should be going much more off to the side rather than down. And just even doing that has helped um, me see what I need to be doing here. So again, what I really want to do is turn off the camera and work on this, but I'm not going to. I'm just I'm going to do it all on camera, even though, <laughs> yeah. All right, we're getting closer. See, I feel like when I'm doing it on camera for you, you got, if you guys are following along with me, you're just yelling at me going, dude, what the hell? Sometimes I know what I'm doing, and sometimes I don't. But I will say that doing that really made a big difference in how I feel about this. And I don't even know that we need this for up in here. Um, kind of feeling like the... Um, the mono eraser is going to be better for what the look that I want. So I like I like that. That's pretty good. And once I get this gray in here, it won't feel so um, harsh. And um, when I'm sitting here and you're not hearing me talk and you're not seeing me do anything, it's because I'm just studying my reference photo and my pay my picture. sure what I'm not sure I think I hope it's still recorded I forgot to plug my um, my my iPhone in and so it told me I was on low power mode <laughs> so it's plugged in now and it looks like it's still running so hopefully um, I didn't get things all messed up um, okay, so let's do it just a little bit more here. I think we're at about an hour and a half. Um, it feels like three hours, <laughs> to be honest. Um, okay, so right under the eye, that bit of hair there is about that long. So right under the eye, that bit of hair, look how much longer that hair should be. All right, so right at the corner of the eye, that hair should be right about there. So we're in good shape there. So this right here,
again, that's going to have to be pulled out. I feel like there's a lot of adding and taking away and adding and taking away. But I also like <clears throat> the texture that I'm seeing here, and I think the only way we're going to get that is with the slice tool. Um, and this has to start being brown. just not coming together. Okay. This is so hard. Well, that helped. That helped, and I can. I'm starting to see some of that texture there, so. So that's good. I don't like that dark line right there. I don't know what I did there. Okay. Um. I think I'm gonna stop this video because uploading um, long videos take forever. And an hour and a half, I think, is enough. <laughs> but I'm going to keep going. I am going to film it. So I'm just going to, while I'm kind of knowing, <laughs> the truth is, it's not to where I, the way I want it yet. And I can't stop. I have to keep going and try and fix it. Um, but I will do it on camera. So I will, um, I will finish um, this video for now and um, <laughs> keep filming and, and do and go ahead and start the next part now too. So um, thank you. <laughs> thank you for um, hanging out with me and my my mess but it's not a just it's not a disaster it can be fixed it's just again we're in that ugly phase and we still have some more work to do to it but it's going to be good in the end it's going to be good so until i see you guys on the next video take care of yourselves take care of each other happy arting love ya <laughs> bye <laughs>